is in at the top tonight. And Wessex County commissioners still trying to find a way to save the restaurant on Bob Hall Pier. Back in 2011, the county received a $750,000 federal grant for improvements to the pier, but they were told they would have to give it back when the government found out the money, at least part of it, was used to fix the restaurant. Now county commissioners are hoping some proposed improvements for Horace Caldwell Pier in Port Aransas will put the county back in compliance with the original grant rules and let the restaurant continue operating at Bob Hall. Our Taylor Alanese has the update on this top story. County Judge Barbara Canales says Fish and Wildlife is giving the county an opportunity to possibly clear their debt by building a 2,500 square foot observation deck at Horace Caldwell Pier in Port Aransas. Canales says basically if this new observation deck complies with the original grant guidelines, it's possible they could be forgiven and not have to pay that money back. The county just has to use its own funds to pay for the new deck, which Canales says they have. And today the Port of Corpus Christi agreed to pay $200 $50,000 towards that new project and port officials encourage any other public or private entities to donate as well. So if we can do something great and do what we said we were going to do for U.S. Fish and Wildlife, that is a terrific win for Nueces County and our friends in Port Aransas. I Canales says U.S. Fish and Wildlife gave the county guidelines for their proposal and she is confident that they will meet them. She says the new observation deck will be used for educational aspects and research for local entities. Canales says it will also be free and open and available to the public. And as far as Michael Mays, Canales says the county still has four more years in their contract with them. She says the restaurant on the water is a great asset to the community in part because it generates $120,000 for the county every year and provides 65 jobs. Jobs. Now the proposal is scheduled for commissioner's court on July 31st. Canala says they have until August 15th to show it to U.S. Fish and Wildlife. Joe. Okay, Taylor, thank you.